Martin here today. My name is Sue I'm the Green Education Spokesperson. My colleague Colleen Hartman, who has been helping you with uh, trying to save the Osrain Court, couldn't make it today. She asked me to pass on the message that she is sending all strength to you. We will do everything we can to support the community campaign to save the diploma of Osrain. The Greens see the loss of the Oakland course as symbolic of the government's cut in case because the Oakland diploma is a course that connects people and is unlikely to be provided by a private college. The diploma of Oakland students can also go on to further study, as we heard Maria say, and become interpreters for other or other highly qualified professionals. It makes no sense to cut a course that puts people in work, especially when that work is essential for human rights. The TAFE system has suffered from underinvestment for more than a decade, more like two decades. It took a heavy blow when the former Labor government removed concession fees for the diploma and advanced diploma courses. This went against the philosophy of TAFE, which is to provide accessible, low-cost training for all who need it, despite their background and their circumstances. Now Mr Bailey is looking three hundred million dollars from the pay system, so he will spend seven hundred million dollars or more on a new jail. The Greens will ask the Minister to change his mind about Oslan. Now that he knows that a New South Wales provider cannot provide a diploma of Oslan, we will ask him to keep the Kangan course going. Many of you came to Parliament last week and you saw my colleague, Green, uh, uh, my Greens colleague Colleen Hartland question Minister Hall. If you enjoyed her skills, thank a TAFE teacher. Colleen came from a disadvantaged background and left school early, but she was able to go back to study at St Albans TAFE when she was 40 and this enabled her to obtain a more fulfilling and better paid job. And Colleen's story is typical of hundreds of thousands of people who have found a better pathway through studying in our public TAFE system. One of the most damaging cuts to TAFE has been a 25% cut in the differential that is paid to TAFE in October last year. This funding is used by TAFE to pay staff entitlements and for their libraries, laboratories and student support services to assist students with special needs to achieve the qualifications they need for employment and for their life. Private colleges do not have these requirements. Students like Colleen are only able to make it through the courses because of the support services and they, funding for that has been cut from TAFE. There will be many job losses in the TAFE system, perhaps as many as 1,500 jobs will go. This will be a huge personal blow to every one of those teachers and the loss of so many experienced and dedicated teachers will be a blow from which our taste may never recover. When the government says there will be no frontline jobs loss, remember the Kangan Institute. Remember administrators like Julian Hurton who have cared so deeply about their students that they have bravely spoken out publicly. His job will be one of the 150 to go at Kangan. I hope that we will see you again in Parliament next Wednesday when this is debated. We will do all we can to persuade the Minister to change his mind and reinstate the diploma of Oslan at Kangan. We have written to the President of the Upper House to ask permission for an Oslan interpreter to be there in an official capacity. I don't want any, to get anyone's hopes up about there being an official interpreter, but we are asking for that because it would be an historic occasion that would underline that education in Auslan is essential for equity and social inclusion. In the, in the Parliament of New Zealand at the last election, uh, Greens member Mojo Mathis, who is deaf, was elected uh, for the Greens. And she has sent a message for you today that I'd like to read to you. And she says, Kiara, I am sending this message of solidarity to the members of the deaf communities and their supporters in Victoria. I am saddened at the ignorance and short-sightedness that has required you to be here today. I wholeheartedly support your campaign to retain funding for the Diploma of Auslan 
and know from experience the importance of what you are asking for. There are some things that you just don't cut. She says, there are times when numbers and cost benefits benefit ratios need to come second place to human rights in decision making. Accessibility is a human rights issue. All over the world, access to sign language and interpreters is fundamental to the deaf community to ensure their participation in society. Interpreters provide the key link between hearing and non-hearing communities through the medium of sign. Cutting courses in sign language will have the effect of strangling participation in society for the deaf. Although I myself was not brought up with sign language, my life was changed when my hearing children came home from school very excited, having been introduced to New Zealand sign language by their teacher. As a result, I was inspired to learn more about a beautiful visual language that speaks to me in a way that no spoken language does. In New Zealand, New Zealand sign language is one of our three official languages. And while New Zealand still has a long way to go before the deaf community here has full access to information in sign, its status and usage is growing all the time. The New Zealand deaf community and their supporters achieve that through determination and persistence. It is the determination and persistence of you all here today that will raise the understanding and support necessary to retain access to further learning of this essential communication skill. Article 24 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities explicitly states that the state shall facilitate the learning of sign language and the promotion of the linguistic identity of the deaf community. Australia has ratified both the convention and the protocol. I would argue that you have a very strong case that your state is in breach of the convention by cutting this course. I wish you all the best in your campaign to have the cuts reversed. Kia kaha, be strong, Mojo Matters MP. I'd just like to say congratulations on your passionate campaign and let's keep going until the government keeps the committee Auslan alive at Kangan.